like a bow. Let's talk about traits in women that men find unattractive. I talked about this in past videos, but let me go a little bit deeper into it because I was listening to a conversation with some people that I'm not going to mention, and they were telling me how one of my friends or family members, you should never know, you know, because I'd rather not say who that person is, and they were saying how she lost her a possible husband because of, of her temperament. And I listen to her when she speaks to this person through the phone, you know, she they put it on the speaker and she sounds like, yeah, hurry up, yes, 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 I don't care, mom, I don't care, I don't care, like, it's very bitter and very, like, you know, like, evil, like, she sounds evil, I'm not kidding, like, she sounds evil, like, it's shrewd. So, they told her that, that when they, when they hung up with her, they were saying how she's a very beautiful girl, an extremely beautiful girl, but she can never keep a guy. Um, she was actually going to get married with a guy, and she was very excited about it, but because of her temper, he lost interest. There's, there's a certain point that it doesn't matter how beautiful you are, your character traits are going to sabotage you. And it's, this is the problem, is that if you depend on, character, on your beauty to get the guys, when you get older, what's going to happen? What, what, you think your beauty is going to last you forever? It doesn't. This, this is what I'm here for. You know, I'm, I'm here for you, you know. So, she doesn't, so she lost... A lot of guys because of her temper because of her way of being right and it doesn't matter how beautiful she is beauty can never hide what's inside of you beauty can never your beauty your beauty can never over can never can never hide all of those flaws you have so what you have to do is rather than getting shape get an emotional shape you see start focusing on the inside so let's talk about those traits that men find unattractive and if you find the and if you identify any of them there's nothing wrong with that. That means you have space to grow, all right? So number one, give me your password. The overly jealous woman. If you notice yourself that you always have to control the guy, always looking at his Facebook, always looking at his Instagram, just always needing to know what the fuck he's doing, knowing where the hell he's going, and even sometimes even tracking where, he's, tracking where he is, that's not good. Like, you're trying to control your emotional state to controlling other person's behavior. It's like saying, it's like when people say, I am depressed because of you. I am angry because of you. No, you're not. I don't control your emotions. You are angry because you cannot control yourself. So, it, you react as a result of me. But rather than, than seeing the true problem, which is you, you're not emotionally strong as, as you should be. Nothing wrong with that. But the mere fact that I'm able to make you react does not mean that I'm the one who is at fault. It's it, 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 it's that you don't you you're not you're not in full control of your faculties. So if you're an overly jealous woman, that means you're all, you're trying to control how you feel through controlling somebody else's behavior. You feel like you cannot you feel like you're not enough. So as a result, you feel like one day the guy is gonna slip up. One day it doesn't matter if he doesn't show it today, but one day he's gonna hurt you. You see, and so rather than go with the ride. And take life as a game and enjoy the moment. You live in fear, thinking about what's gonna happen next, thinking about when he's going to inevitably che cheat on you. But that's why you try to control the situation because you cannot control what's going on inside of you. So you people try to control the outside. They use force. And if you have that trait, always constantly looking who's talking to or saying who's the bitch or I saw you like her photo, you got problems. And there's nothing wrong with that because when you have problems, that means you have space to grow. You see, so again, I'm not saying jealousy is bad. Over jealousy is bad. Over jealousy is bad because it pushes guys away. Some jealousy is cute, and I like it, and it's adorable. I love when women are jealous about me, but I don't like it when they are obsessively jealous. Not to the point where they tell me they're jealous, but to the point where they try to control me, where they want to know my passwords. Fuck that shit. I'm not giving you my password. All right. Um, number two, the victim. The victim is the person who thinks that everything that happens is against them, for them, and to them. If you continually put yourself at the center of all of your problems, which is to say you're always thinking that people are looking at you, always thinking that everything that that that, that they insult you because you're you know because you're you're black or you're dark. Let me tell you something. See, I, I'm I, see the way I look. I I've not see this is gonna be a touchy subject, but I've never experienced racism before. Never, never, never. Do you, do you find that surprising? Yeah, right. Never, ever experienced racism ever all right i'm not saying that racism doesn't exist but from my experience i've i've gotten stopped by the cops i've gotten stopped all the time 
but never have I ever been mistreated because of the way I look. Why, why, am, I, why am I saying this? And again, I'm going to get into a sensitive subject, but bear with me. Is that when you have, when your people or a certain, when a race or even a sex is suppressed, naturally they're going to develop a victim mentality because they're actually in that situation. Nothing wrong with that. The issue is, is that the belief system that you instill in your children, that because of logical reasons and things that actually happened, you, you begin to intoxicate your, your, your family because of logical reasons. I'm not saying that you're doing it bad, but that people will begin to attract those situations because they're expected. They expect racism. And I'm not saying it doesn't exist. I'm just saying that when you expect it, you're going to see it more often. And so in my experience, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe I experienced racism, but it never affected me. You see, never affected me. See this channel? It's growing, but I never let my, my, the belief of how I look affect me. So what am I saying? Is that the victim is all based on your perception. Nobody can stop you. Nobody can control you. Nobody can control how you feel. Nobody can make you do anything. Anything that happens is because you decided to do it to a certain extent. There's always an, an exception. But generally speaking, when you're the victim, that means you have no control of your emotions, no control of your life, no control of your circumstance. So you have to realize in reality, a lot of the, a lot of the problems you create in your life are self-made. Not because somebody did them to you, but because you saw them, you imagined them, and it became life. So, the victim will cause people to push you away. They're not going to be one that will be around you because that energy is toxic. I'm telling you, like, it's a toxic energy that, that permeates your whole character, your whole being. And people feel it in an indirect manner. Number three, the bad temper. Oh my God, when a woman, look, it's nice when a woman has a bad temper, right? It's nice, it's cute. I'm talking about bad temper. Like... Temper that you just cannot argue with them, you cannot talk to them, you gotta make sure that you don't say the wrong thing around them or else it's gonna snap. When people have to be careful, walk on eggshells around you because of your anger and your bad temper, you better change, girl. You got issues. And again, nothing wrong with issues because I have my own issues. But you got issues. So you gotta work on that. You gotta find out why you're hurt because anger is a scream for help. Anger is a scream for there's pain inside of me. Help me. And so rather than externalize it, talk to your body by paying attention to the pain. That urge to spaz out on the guy, resist it. And <sighs> breathe into it. You see, hone on that emotion. Because the more you externalize your anger, or the more you suppress your anger, same thing, the more it's going to grow. So what's the middle ground? Is Allowing your anger to be there and seeing it. See it. Don't resist it. Don't say, I don't want to feel anger. Or don't say, okay, I'm a, like, 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 don't say, I'm going I'm to release my anger through talking to the guy and being angry at him. No. Allow the anger to do whatever the fuck it wants inside of you and don't try to not think about it. Simply see it. Let it be there. And God, I can promise you, it's going to leave. All right. But if you don't do that, it's gonna again permeate your character. People are not gonna be want to be around you. It's not good. I'm telling you. All right, ladies. So finally, I have released my second course for women, which is natural chemistry. This course is a five-week course. Five-week course where every week you're gonna get a new set of videos based on based on specific issues the, this course is all about how to create and maintain the attraction in any man this will help you create love this will help you deepen the love with your man this is not about manipulation this is not about playing games this is genuine genuine natural chemistry no more short-term partners no more being fooled why because i will reveal to you not only how to create attraction in the first week but also how to understand male nature, how to understand their tricks, how to prevent from being a too attached, signs that he's the wrong guy, signs that he's a narcissist, signs that he's a mama's boy, signs that he's an emotionally available guy, emotionally unavailable guy. We go over everything. We go over the third week, setting boundaries. We go over the third week, controlling your emotions, right? Setting boundaries, fourth week, fifth week, embracing your masculine and the feminine, right? And on top of that, I come, I have over 10 different bonuses, 10 different bonuses, my Lord have mercy, right? With, with a money back guarantee. The bonus are one, 
the natural chemistry, over 10 hours of content, right? The breakup formula, how to deal with a breakup, right? The connecting with your man, right? Establishing a life of abundance, social mastery, understanding your dark side, the goal setting seminar, which is about how to set and achieve goals, practical mastery that will teach you how to master anything. The laws of human nature. I will come that I have a book club for the laws of human nature where over four hours of content, right? The transformational seminar in a pocket, which is my mindfulness seminar and the chase audiobook. This is a this originally is one thousand eight hundred dollars, but you get it starting at ninety seven dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Ninety seven dollars. We have different packages, but all of this starts at ninety seven dollars. And you know what? You can check it out for free if you want. Yeah. For all the freeloaders, I have free videos just for you free videos all right so you could just check it out for free and then you could get out nothing wrong with that all right so and on top of that it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee no questions asked that's right no questions asked i don't mind i just want you guys to check it out because i know when you take one look you're gonna want to buy it i could promise you just like my other course um the psychological the psychological game of attraction it was a hit you're gonna love this one this one is not about manipulation this is genuine natural chemistry order it now all right i'll see you guys inside peace out